What's up YouTube, I'm Mr. No Name, or Max as people know me in the real world, and today I am bringing you the first half of a Blitz scrim gameplay. This is against the same team that I showed in my last YouTube video. Uh, this was actually our first scrim that we included some respawn in, so yeah, and this is actually our first game of Blitz in a competitive setting besides the clan versus clan playlist, so I feel like we did pretty well. Uh, we outslayed them quite a bit, but the score the score is extremely close. I'm just bringing you the first half today because what I have to talk about is fairly short. So diving right into it, I'm bringing you guys my top four predictions for MLG Columbus, which is happening from November 22nd through the 24th. So that's going to be awesome. And and don't give me too much hate if you don't agree with my predictions. You know, everybody ha can have their own opinion and everything. These are just mine, and you know, I'm I'm trying not to let my own optic fanboyness get in the way of predicting you know I don't want to just be like oh they're gonna win just because I like them so much because you know I, I want to base it off of facts and statistics and you know w what I've seen from the scrims that they've been doing so far and it's extremely difficult to predict as well the outcome because this is the first major Call of Duty Ghost tournament and it's completely different than Black Ops 2 so it, it's kind of hard to really predict but we'll I'm, I'm gonna do my best so, top four. The number four spot I am giving to Curse, and it's the Los Angeles Curse, not the New York one. And their roster consists of Stainville, Parasite, Nameless, and Miracles. Some of you who watch competitive Black Ops 2 might be wondering, whoa, this is your number four? They got Parasite and Miracles. Um, why aren't they higher? Well, okay, number one... the I feel like the other teams have a better chance, to be honest. And I feel like Stainville and Nameless are... A little bit weaker than Parasite and Miracles, and I don't feel like they've been together as a team enough. I mean, Parasite and Miracles are probably going to work extremely well together because they've teamed a lot before, so they they know what they're doing. But I don't know if the team chemistry is really going to be there. Um, I'm just a little bit doubtful. And also, I know Parasite. I believe he got hacked or something on one of his accounts, so he's been you know trying to deal with that and everything. So I don't know if they're going to be fully ready for this tournament. Um, and then in the number three spot, I've got Optic, and this is when everybody starts crying because Optic, I'm not putting them in first place. I know, but I, I really don't think they're going to win this tournament. You never know, they could pull it out. They definitely have the skills to do it. I'm just not sure if they're going to be able to. Um, Big Timer has been going off so far from what I've seen. He's an absolute monster right now. If you guys didn't watch the pro scrims a couple days ago, or yesterday even, I'm not sure which, but... They were absolutely like that big big timer was amazing. Like he was just going double positive every time, even when he was losing and everything. He was just absolutely slaying. Um, and you know, the the rest of the team did good as well. You know, Nade Shot, Scumpy, and Jake Cap. I probably should have gone over the roster, which I just kind of did. But you know, I feel like most of you probably know that roster. Um, Nade Shot had some really good plays in one of the the blitz scrims, even though it was too late. But you know, I, th they can do it. They have the chemistry. You know, they have great personalities. I would love to see them pull out a championship. They're hungry for it. I'm just not convinced that they can do it, especially since they they lost the scrim against Complexity. I believe, what was that, five to one? So yeah, I'm a little bit worried about it. Next is in the number two spot is Envy, and their roster consists of Merc, Rambo, Proofy, and Karma, and Rambo is probably the smartest and most respectful player in the professional scene right now. I, I feel like he is going to bring a lot to this first tournament because I feel like he is going to help his team n learn the knowledge for this game faster than other teams just because of how smart he is. And then there's Proofy and Karma who have some of the best shots in the game, you know, I, I feel like they are going to be able to slay a lot. They're going to they're going to be doing good. And then there's Merc, of course, who's you know been on championship team before. So it's a pretty solid roster. I think they have. They're either going to get second place, maybe first, but I'm, I'm thinking they're going to wind up placing second. Then in the first position, I have Complexity, and their roster consists of Crimsix, Clayster, TP, and Aix. And there are several reasons for this. Number one, I know that TP and Aches are quite the duo. They work extremely well together. Uh, their chemistry is amazing. I believe they teamed at least all of last year together on the same team. So they, they know how to play with each other well and everything. And then there's Claystrew who also, he, he probably had the best shot 
out of anybody last year in the competitive scene. He was amazing. And then there's Krim6, who was on championship time, championship team. I'm sorry, multiple times, as well as Clayster. So you know, they. I I, th I feel like this is a really solid roster. And from what I've seen in scrims, you know, they absolutely decimated Optic as far as the map count. And I I feel like you know they got the momentum going into this tournament with several wins from Black Ops 2 under their belt. Now, I I just think they're gonna carry that momentum forward and wind up pulling it out. So. As you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, let me know what I can do better in the comment section below. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.